Well, you're probably wondering, why am I holding this? This is a 2018 convertible laptop from last year. It's the ThinkPad X1 Yoga. And I kind of wanted to review it last year, but I didn't get a chance to get it until recently because it went on sale and I didn't want to pass it up. I wanted to bring that value to you because I think this is one excellent two-in-one convertible worth looking at. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the ThinkPad X1 Yoga 3rd Gen. Coming up. Now, before we begin, in the interest of disclosure and transparency, I'm not being paid by Lenovo. Lenovo is not sponsoring this video. Lenovo did not provide a review unit for this video as well. I purchased it with my own money. Now, nobody's seeing this video before it's being released. And for those naysayers who leave comments thinking that I am a shill for Lenovo, the answer is I am not, but I am open for business. If you want to buy me out, I will sell out. So Lenovo, if you're listening, you know where to find me. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to check this unit out is because you're getting some really good sales over at Lenovo. You can get some excellent discounts. I'll put the latest pricing in the links below. Now, before we get to the unboxing, here's a quick rundown of the specs. Now, of course, if you know me, I don't like to skimp on the display. Where I can, I like to buy the best. So this is the 14-inch HDR Dolby Vision display. It's a WQHD resolution, 2560 by 1440. It's a very bright display that Lenovo claims will get up to 500 nits of brightness. We'll go over that in just a little bit. You can configure this bad boy with an up to 8th generation Intel Core i7-8560 with V Pro. We'll go over that performance in a little bit as well. Up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and up to one terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. It's got a 54 watt hour battery that Lenovo claims will give you up to 15.4 hours of battery life. Of course, we'll go over battery life and charging times later on in this video. Plenty of ports that we'll go over. And of course, it comes in in a very thin and light package. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. Now, I love the way it just presents itself to you. Really nice packaging. A lot of thought went into it. Good job on that front, Lenovo. You get your power cord and your 65-watt power adapter. It's also USB-C. I always like to see that. And, of course, we'll go over the battery life and charging times later on in this video. Now, you also get some documentation and some warranty information as well. Now this time around, I wanted to give the silver a shot. I actually like the way it looks. It's a little bit different, of course, than the black. Shows less fingerprints, and I think it does look really nice. Now, of course, it's thin and light, as we'd come to expect. You also get your pen. It's Wacom AES technology. We'll go over that in just a little bit. Now, when it comes to the ports, I don't think you'll be too disappointed. In fact, I actually like it. There are two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and yes, they do support four lanes. So if you want to connect to an external GPU or multiple 4K monitors, you can. Now, there's a USB-A port, a great legacy port to still have on a device, of course. And moving over to the right side, HDMI. You also get another USB-A port, a breakout port for Ethernet, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and of course, your power button with an LED indicator light in it. And on the back is your micro SD card slot for storage expansion and your SIM slot for your optional LTE. This time around, they didn't go with the LTE because they do not offer that with the HDR display option. A kind of a curious thing to do, but again, I wish it did have it, but not this time around. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga runs Windows 10 Home, but if you need to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro, why not check out today's sponsor, LVL Go, where you can get some really serious discounts for your Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some even better news. I used to give a 21% discount code for the Windows 10 Professional OEM keys. Forget that. It's now 25% off. Even better. Well, what about Microsoft Office? You need that as well? Well, no problem. I got you covered. 18% off with my special discount code. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLGo.com for these great savings. And remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. 
Okay, let's talk about the star of the show. You know what it is. It's the display. It's that 14-inch HDR Dolby Vision display. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a resolution of 2560 by 1440, a WQHD resolution. It's also got a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, making this a media consumption beast. It's excellent for watching Netflix and YouTube, especially HDR content. This thing absolutely rocks. And it has an amazing screen brightness with an average of 520 nits. This thing is super bright, good for both indoor and outdoor use, and it's by far the class leader. And for that creative professional out there, this is an excellent choice. That's because it covers the color gamut extremely well. An amazing 201 sRGB and 100% Adobe RGB. This is the perfect choice for those doing Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, 4K video editing. Now, one thing you will notice is the bezels. That's because you will be using this in tablet mode. This is a convertible laptop, but kind of wish they were just a tad smaller. They are kind of large, especially for 2019 standards, but nothing as far as a deal breaker, as far as I'm concerned, it still looks nice. But that's really my only gripe. This thing is an amazing display with amazing brightness, color accuracy, and it just pops. It's just an amazing display. I can't say enough superlatives because it really does deserve that. Now, it does have a pen, it stores in the device, as I mentioned earlier, and it uses the Wacom AES technology. You get 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. Of course, if you want a bigger pen, there are other options out there, third-party options. The Wacom Bamboo, for instance, is a nice choice with this, but I like the fact that the pen does store in the device. You don't have to worry about losing it. You don't have to throw it in a bag. It's just there when you need it. That's a great convenience factor. This thing is great for taking notes, great for sketching out artwork, great for the boardroom meeting or to take notes in a classroom it can do it all okay let's talk keyboard one of my favorite parts of this laptop at 1.4 millimeters of key travel very comfortable to type on especially for extended periods of time it's also got a multi-stage backlight allowing me to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment now it also has a really nice trackpad uses precision drivers all the windows 10 gestures work as advertised and two finger scrolling was buttery smooth i also love the track point one of my favorite pointing devices of all time again very responsive and a great way to navigate through the the OS on this laptop. And for those that are concerned about security and privacy, it does have a privacy switch allowing you to turn off the webcam, although it won't turn off the microphone, so please keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga. This is that two-in-one that I've been really craving after for a while. This came out last year. Now, I wanted to round out the ThinkPad series that I've been checking out. I checked out the X1 Carbon. I've checked out the X1 Tablet, and now this will complete it. I also checked out the X1 Extreme. Let's not forget that. It's a really good one as well. But this is the camera, 720p, 30 frames per second, and I have to say, not bad. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I think this is definitely good for Skype. You can definitely do some video conferencing with it. Something a business person would definitely want to use. So again, I want to know what you think. Let me know. Now, if you do want to log in with Windows Hello, you can with the fingerprint scanner located right below the keyboard on the right side. Registered my finger pretty much every time I used it. Setup was easy and it did a good job. I thought overall pretty good. And this is a very durable and rugged laptop. Having passed 12 military standard tests, the same the US military does with its equipment. Among the tests, it survived operation in extremely high and low temperatures, high humidity, and survived blasts of sand, among other tests. And I gotta say, this thing is rock solid. So for those business users and students that are hard on their devices, this may be your ticket. Okay, let's talk about the performance. It's actually pretty good. It's running the 8th generation Intel Core i7-8550U. And as you can see from these results from the Geekbench 4 multi-core score, you see it did pretty well. This is a great productivity machine. You can get things done like Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, of course, multimedia consumption, Netflix, YouTube, all work really well. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, this is not a gaming laptop, and there are much better choices out there. But if you do want to connect to an external GPU, the good news is it does have those two Thunderbolt 3 ports that support four lanes. But the downside of adding an external GPU is it will add to the cost of the product. So you might want to consider just getting a dedicated gaming laptop at the end of the day. Now, if you 
do want a game on this, here are some of the numbers. As you can see, some of the older titles can be played on the lower settings, but some of the newer titles will definitely be less playable, almost unplayable, depending, of course, on your settings and which title you choose. And when it comes to thermals, I thought they were okay, although the underside did get a bit warm when I streamed my HT video for 15 minutes at 102 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.9 degrees Celsius. It gets a little bit warm. And you will notice the fans will kick in under heavy load, although they're not terribly loud. Wasn't too distracting. I think they did a good job in that regard. Lenovo makes it really easy to access the inside of this device, so IT departments will love that. Now once inside, you'll notice the single fan, you'll notice the 54 watt hour battery, the two speakers on the bottom. Now if you want to swap out that SSD, you can, although you're getting some pretty decent reads and writes. I wish other OEMs made it this easy to get inside the device. Kudos to Lenovo. Now there are two speakers located on the bottom. I thought it filled up a medium sized room very well. Hint of bass, it gets loud. Let's give it a listen. And when it comes to battery life, the X1 Yoga did pretty well. If you look at the numbers here, 8 hours and 42 minutes on the continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 115 nits. It was outlasted by the Dell XPS 13, which did very well at almost 12 and a half hours. But at 8 hours and 42 minutes, you're looking at pretty much all day battery life. Now, if you do need to plug in, they do supply you with a 65 watt power adapter that uses rapid charge technology. will give you a full charge in a little bit less than two hours, which is pretty good. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the ThinkPad Yoga X1 third gen? Absolutely. Even though this came out in 2018, it's still very much relevant here in 2019, especially with some steep discounts over at Lenovo. I'll put the latest pricing in the description below. But keep in mind, you're getting that 2K display. It's Dolby Vision. It's absolutely stunning. You're getting some good battery life, good performance. And I love the Wacom pen that you can store in the device. All coming in at a ruggedized, thin and light package with that legendary ThinkPad keyboard. Now, of course, it's not a perfect laptop. It still can get expensive, even with discounts, but it really is worth the money. You get what you pay for. I'm going to give this a recommendation, making the ThinkPad X1 Yoga 3rd Gen worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy? And again, I want to stress, this is a 2018 laptop. This is due for a refresh probably very soon. I got a chance to check it out at CES 2019 back in January. And I wanted to check out the 2018 version for a couple of reasons. Number one, you can get this on sale right now. And number two, I think for the price, this is excellent value. This is something you want to take a look at. I like its Core i7 performance out of that eighth generation quad core processor. I like this silver design, by the way. Of course, you could always get it in that iconic matte black, but this doesn't show the fingerprints nearly as much. And I like that. I also wanted something a little bit different. Now, this also has the pen. It's a Wacom AES technology. And to me, the pen is really great because it allows you to take notes, sketch out some artwork, and it stores in the device. You don't have to worry about losing it. Now, as far as the display, let's talk about that for a moment. That's one area I didn't want to skimp on. It's a 14 inch HDR IPS display. But if you didn't know better, you'd think it was OLED. It's gorgeous, really deep black, some sharp, vibrant colors. This thing just pops and as far as watching HDR movies on this with that Dolby Vision display it is excellent I can't stress it enough so for that extra money it is definitely worth to upgrade to that Dolby Vision display now as far as battery life excellent on this device I'm really happy with it as far as all-day battery life you definitely get it with this device I'm very very happy with it it's also got precision drivers for its touchpad everything working really well. This is one excellent tune one that I think here in 2018 is definitely a good value, especially since it's on sale. I'll put the latest pricing, of course, in the link below. But I'm curious to know what you think 
let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.